Hey guys and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to be doing something a bit different with my clue scroll vids. And today I'm going to be doing two easy clue scrolls, but not just doing two easy clue scrolls, I'm going to be doing them at the same time. So I think the easiest way to get like an easy clue scroll is at the ham pickpocketing ham guards. So I've already got here and I've just pickpocketed one already. And now I need to start getting another one. Now, the way I'm going to be doing two at once is obviously I've got to, you can't have more than one clue scroll. So what you've got to do is you've got to drop one while you do the next part of the next clue and then go back and pick them up and make sure you never lose it. So for now, my first goal is to get the second clue scroll by dropping that one and pickpocketing these guards until I get one. If the guy would stay still, it would make it much easier to pickpocket. Come on. So... It's going to be pretty tough to manage to get going on this, I think. I'm not too sure how it's going to work. I'm going to have to make sure they don't disappear, because if it disappears, I'm screwed. And I'm not exactly sure exactly how long they stay on the floor for. Is it like one minute or two minutes? I'm not sure. Not a clue. But just going to have to be careful and make sure I don't lose it. I'm going to just... Right. No clue score. I'm just going to pick that up. No. Pick that up. And drop this. And then... But anyway, I'm going to carry on doing this until I get the clue school. I don't want to make you watch me doing boring pickpocketing, because that's not the main part of the video. Right, guys, so I managed to PK, a PK, I mean, pickpocket another clue school. So I've got two easy clue schools here. Now, I've got the main problem. I need to get them to a telly spot where I can quickly telly there and pick them up and drop them. And suddenly I've just randomly started lagging there. Holy shit. Anyway, let's see what this clue school actually is. Right, that's a map, and I think that's next to the Wizard's Tower. And I know that one is north of Falador. So, I need somewhere that I can get to pretty easily. So, right, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to teleport to Lumbridge. Because that's a quick teleport spot. I'm going to drop that there, and I'm going to run back to the ham place and get that clue. And I need to do it fast, because otherwise it's going to disappear. And I know you've got a pickpocket that's stupid entrance. So if I fail at pickpocketing that, good fight me. Anyway, run fairy tales, run. I should have probably bought energy potions for this. That would have been beneficial. But, didn't think of that in advance. Good fight me. Holy crap. Random lag there. Oh, good fight, it's already pickpocketed. I mean, picklocked. Oh wow, did you see that? I, could, I was going to go straight down it and then it... Um, locked or something. Unless I'm just being stupid. Anyway, back in here. Let's go and pick up that clue. I think going for the wizard style one first is going to be easier. Let's pick that up. And let's have a lumbridge. Right. And the other clue school should still be there. Yes, it's right there. And which clue school is this? Right, that's Falador. And this is the Wizard's Tower. So I'm going to run straight to Wizard's Tower now. Oh my god, I haven't even got a speed! What the fuck, man? I'm such a fail. Hold it, with, bear with me, guys. Right, so guys, I've got a speed, and now let's make sure I drop this, pick up this, and let's run. Actually, is it going to be quicker for me to run from... If I teleport to Drina Lodestone... Has Drina even got a lowest one? Yes it has. And if I drop that at the lowest one, then I'll totally lumberage and pick up that one. And that should make it a bit easier. Go, 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 faster! I could use the fairy ring to teleport a wizard's tower, but I can't be fucked. I think this will just be a bit easier. Right, back to lumberage, pick up that other clue. This is going to be quite tedious to do this. This is only one part of the clue. These could go on for quite a while. Hopefully not too long. The easy clue, so hopefully not too bad. And then I know I'm going to get like seven zombie pages and be like, good fight, this is why you do level ones. I wish Lodestone's teleports would just be quicker. It would be much easier. Anyway, which is the clue I need? Right, that's Falador one. So if I leave that here. And get this one. And run south. Now run to drain the tower. Um, um, Wizard's Tower, dig, get the next part of this clue, teleport back there, pick up that one. And then we'll carry on from there. 
Let's just hope I don't get one of them stupid emote clues because I'm freaking screwed, aren't I? I've got to go to the G for that. What a nuisance. I know, it'll probably ask me to wear like a, a bronze full helm or something. I don't know, I've, I've never really done easy clues so I don't have a clue what the actual gears are for these. Anyway, let's run, run faster. Noob wizards. Remember when you were a noob and you'd like fight these little ten wizards and you'd be like, what the fuck they fucking own? Right. I think it's this south wall here. Dig. Yes, next clue scroll. What is it? Speak to hands to solve the clue. Right, that's pretty easy. But I need to go and pick up this clue first. Speak to hands. That's a pretty damn tough clue, not gonna lie. That's that's pretty damn tough. Right, I think the first... I need to go and do the next... Uh, the part of the next clue first, though. Let's drop that. Come on. Drop, drop, drop. Let's pick up that one fast. Right, so I need to go with Falador next. So let's get home teleport to Falador. And I'm going to drop this one at Falador and then come back for this one. And then we can see where we're at. But I'm going to pause it while I do that. Right, so I'm back at Falador now. Let's read this, read this clue. Short. Right, that's the Lumbridge one, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to pick up this one. And I'm going to go and dig for that in this little thing over here. Right, let's check exactly where it is. Right, it's next to that tree in there. So if you ever wondered what these mysterious rocks are, no for fun at all, it's just for this clue. No, else, clearly. I didn't even know you could catch these squirrels. I don't know what they're used for. But I know this I've I swear I've never noticed them set up young traps before. With the young tree. Anyway, let's dig. Woot, next clue scroll. What's this one? Right, oh, it's back to the wizard's tower. What? That's cool. That's cool. No, no, I'm going to teleport straight to Lumbridge, drop that one, then come back for that one. I think I'm speeding up my processes here, like... Oh, yes, go fairy tales. This is going to be impressive. I, I'm, I like this. This is quite fun to do this. It's unique. There's nothing else like this challenge. Even though it's not exactly a challenge, but... Just doing it for the funs with my Clue School video. Make it a bit more interesting than me just doing an elite clue. Or a hard clue. Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up before it disappears. Faster, faster, faster. Right, the teleport to Lumbridge, and now I need to speak to Hans. Where's Hans? He's doing, he's walking around Lumbridge, obviously. Right, I think he must be up here. Wow, oh, lag. Bad lag. Here's Hans. Speak to Hans. Well done, you solved the clue. Oh, you give him another clue. Right, where's this one? 1 north, 2 west, 6 north, 6 east. That's one of the mines south of um, Varrock. I think it's the east one. That's definitely close to the Lodestone. But I need to go back to Wizard's Tower before I do anything. So I'm going to home port to Draenor again. And do the same trick with transferring them both to there. So again, bear with me. I don't want to, I don't want you to just watch me do loads of home ports. Because that's going to not be fun to watch. Right, so I've arrived at Draenor now with the second clue. Now, which one's which? Right. Uh, that one's the Varak one, so I'm going to drop that back here for when I come back. Let's grab that one, and let's run down. So the Varak Lodestone's definitely closer to that spot for the, that clue, because Varak teleport takes me all the way to the G, which is too far away. And speaking of that, I've only got two Lumbridge teleports in my invent. I could probably do with some more, but not at the minute. I don't think they're too useful. So... Back down the wizard's tower. Typical that I get the same clue twice. Why couldn't there have just been the same thing in the first place? It would have been much easier, but of course not. Come on. I like the lightning effects like here, how it always looks like it's night, like it's night time. Then you cross this bridge and it's suddenly daylight and you're like, holy crap. I wish it would be like day and night all over RuneScape. I think that'd be a bit more interesting rather than certain areas just being night all the time and certain areas being day. I think that'd be a bit better. If they just went off Jagex, like, RuneScape time as well. Oh, I've got one casket! That was a pretty damn fast clue. Holy crap, didn't expect that. Anyway, right, so this is going to be easy now, because I can just finish off the other clue, I think. Without, because I don't think, I think you can have two caskets, so. I think that makes it easier. Well, I'll, I'll soon find out anyway. Wow, that, was that, like, a three-part clue? Uh, that's pretty fast. Or two parts. Do you already have a clue scroll? Drop casket. Right, I can't open the casket until I go and do this one. So let's home to um, Varrock. 
and let's drop that. That's typical that I have to drop the casket as I go as well. God damn Jagex. I don't ha already have a clue scroll. That is not a clue scroll. God damn it. I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to die. I need other, other, I need other things right now. I right, drop that one. Back to Drano. And I'm going to bring that one here. I'll bring the ch casket here. Right, so I'm back at Varrock. Let's drop this casket right here. Let's pick up this clue scroll and let's run east of that mine. I think it's definitely the east one. If I read it right. That's, yeah, that's definitely east. I'm not sure on that exact spot and I'm not going to walk all them little steps just to figure it out. It's normally quite easy. I think you get, I think you don't have to actually have to dig in the precise spot. I think you're allowed to like one square either way I think. I'm not 100% sure. But. Right, let's look on this map again. Right, so it's somewhere like up here. And let's just dig. Nothing interesting happens. No, I don't want the world map. No! I want the clue map. See, I've just got map in my mind. I just want to open the world map. Is it more like here? I'm just going to dig around until I get it. Come on. Come on. Maybe it's next to this bush. Yes, and I have another casket. I'm just going to run back as fast as I'm home calling. So I have two caskets. I have managed to complete both clues. It would have been much harder to do this with hard clues or elites. That would have been ridiculously hard. It would have took, it would have, this video would have been three hours long instead of 12 minutes as it is so far. Anyway, I have two caskets to open. Let's see how these go. Two easy caskets. I'm meant to do that one first, so drop that. Let's open this. Let's open it. And I get 43 earth runes, a black battle axe, a black 2 each sword and 20 zamorak arrows. That's pretty bad. Let's open the other one. Come on. Come on, give me one of them amazing pages. You found another clue scroll? What? I had a casket and then I open it and it gives me a clue scroll? What sort of scam is this? Uh, what? Since when? Since when does that happen? Man, that is ridiculous. That, I'm... I've done thousands, well not thousands, I've done hundreds of clues before and that has never happened because I've never done an easy clue. Either that a freaking... Man. That is... That's crazy shit. That is crazy. Why would it give me a casket instead of a clue when I dig? I don't understand. Anyway, I need to speak to Ned. Where's Ned? Which building is... Oh, it's this one, isn't it? The one with the little, the one with the little green star in, and let's speak to Ned and see what he does. Talk about something else. Well done. You can see another clue school. This is a bit of a scam. Search the crates in East Ardun's general store. Well, I am not home porting for that one. I am grabbing an Ardi Telly. Seems definitely more reasonable. Ardi Telly. Go go go. Well, I said doing two clues of those at the same time. I thought I'd finish them both. But then, no. I haven't. But nothing I could do. One of them was like two stages long, and this one's a bit longer. So, I did actually take turns with the clues. And where is this general store? Is that here? Right here. I need to search the crates in here. And that probably will be my reward, I assume. Let's search this crate. No, this one. Because that one seems to want to go outside. Another clue scroll? Back to the wizard's tower? My god, Jagex, you love that freaking clue, holy crap. Three times and two clue scrolls, that is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, on my way, and hopefully this is the last one. Because this, uh, this, this clue scroll is just wanting to torture me right now. Maybe it glitched by the fact I had two caskets. Maybe that's the reason why I did that. I, I have no idea. But... Generally, when you get the casket, you've got the reward. So, that's pretty weird. Maybe it glitched because I just opened a casket. I don't know. It surely shouldn't have. Maybe it's just the, the way easy clues like to troll. Anyway, almost there now. Hopefully, this is the last one. And hopefully, I get a, some sort of page. Everyone goes on about how easy clues are actually good money. Now, it might be true because you can see how fast I managed to get one from a ham guy. It only took me about two minutes. 
And if you're doing one easy clue at a time, and you get good at them, you can probably do them extremely fast. Like, I mean, I could be using like my Wicked Hood or a Fairy Ring to teleport here even faster. And possibly I could do many, many easy clues per hour. And they have a decent chance at a page, so maybe they are good money. Oh, it's a casket. Let's open it. Oh, and it's the worst reward I've ever seen from a clue school. Three meerkat pouches. Eight lore runes, a water talisman, and 89 black nails. I, I don't think it gets worse. Let's price check all the stuff I got anyway. I mean, you either get something or you don't from an easy clue, so... I didn't expect something decent. To be fair, I got 44k. That's not too bad for a two, e two easy clues. Anyway, guys, yep. I hope you enjoyed me doing this, like, your little unique activity of doing two clue scores at once. It's pretty fun trying to do it like that, and pretty annoying as well. I mean, if I'd lost one of them clues, I would have been pissed. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed a different, a different aim with my clue score video. And next one, I probably go back to doing a regular elite clue. But if you did enjoy this, do give the video a thumbs up, because I'm very extremely grateful if you do enjoy the video. And tomorrow. I should, I might go and do that PK cam that I said I would do, but I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.